the rest are there's one of the governors you know like because we're not working as officials we're not talking about very narrow sense we talk about broad sense so it might happen to like it might it might talk about those governors those ministers we don't necessarily need to join political office but um the point is no matter where you are who you are uh at home at office or anything you can cultivate good beats you don't have to wait um for for, for something to happen so i'll just stop at the last one as a story of a Mr. Teng. So this Mr. Teng, he's a um, general in a sense. He was, at, uh, he was given the authority by the emperor to take down a bandit camp, a bandit uh, uh, encampment. And he was given that authority in armies. But because he's very kind, he does not want to kill innocent people. Or collateral damage, so he went uh, to through the list of the you know confirmed offenders, and he picked one by one um, how many. Um, sorry, I just sorry. He picked one by one of um, those common folks uh, and give them a white flag. So to, to give them a white flag, so that. Those people who use the white flag during the um, raid against the bandits are safe. So he saved tens of thousands of lives. And obviously his children and his grandchildren got blessed with, um, you know, success in their situ, in their uh, political career in Imperial China. So those are the stories uh, of how these people doing good deeds out of their heart and how in their different roles and positions and uh, predicaments, uh, troubles, they find their way to still be a human. So that's the beauty of it. And um, same for us. There's no reason for us not uh, to do as much good as we can. Obviously, it's a very... Um, Part at the beginning, Leo Fan himself said that he has been quite reluctant when he started to do good deeds. Even he knows something's good when he did that, his heart is not there yet. His heart is still very uh, reluctant. He doesn't really, you know, take in this, um, you know, like those. He's not as pure as he would like to be, and he takes ten years to harness that um, sincerity to, to make to perfect his, his deeds and his heart so doing good deeds is a skill guys it's not simply just I do it some people who are naturally inclined kind they do it straight away and we should be respect I mean we should give them a, a deep bow like these people are, have done that a lot of lives but for my case I can only speak for myself. It's very hard. It's sometimes your selfishness is very strong, especially in terms of wealth. Like even though you give a sizable amount, you know that inside your heart, there's still that stinginess there clinging on you. You'd be like, yes, I might give a lot, but I still have that hard thinking, you know, um, it's a bit too much or something like that. So, so when, when you learn about this, and Buddha also talk about or something like that, ancient Chinese teaching, all the sages say, you, when you give to people, you need to, you need to give wholeheartedly. It's very hard. Uh, so we need to do, do it more. The only way to get better is to open up. And to open up, you need to do it. Uh, these people, they do it. They might not be pure at first, but they keep doing it. There are cases where... Uh, yeah, 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 I should talk about this. I, I can't just skip that. So, um, one of the fathers of uh, one of the men, he was in the mountains and he listens to, uh, he just studied in the mountains. That mountain is haunted by the ghost. And this ghost, it's very funny that he's, everyone's scared of the ghost most of the time. But this man, he had, must have a lot of yang energy, you know, yang qi and zhuang and yang gang. So he does not scare of the ghost. I think everyone um, is quite familiar with this. This man, I forgot the name because I bring it out from the memory. Please bear with me. He listened to Mr. Uh, he listened to this ghost saying that um, there's this woman who was um, being uh, forced to remarry because her husband 
it has not returned after leaving the hometown for a while. Back in China, it's three or six months. That's it. You don't know anyone. You don't have WhatsApp. You don't have Teams to say hi. How are you? And they only have uh, letters that takes months. So if there's no news. It was like, oh, your husband's not coming back, and this husband's family trying to force her to remarry to other families, so that does not, you know, um, waste her time there as a widow. If anything happens, well, they've been kind, but. The wife really loves her husband, and she's like, "Why do you force me to remarry? I don't even know what happened to my husband." And she wants to uh, suicide, commit suicide. It's one of those drama you saw, like you know, like you know, if I can't be with my loved one, I'll die or something like that. So it's real, and we we respect that. Like she's really, we're not respecting suicide. We're respecting her loyalty to her husband and her husband to her. But the point is, he heard that was like, oh no, 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 no. We can't let the life go away with a knowledge of it. So he sell all his tian. He has he's quite like a middle class bourgeois. So he has money. He got money by selling his property, by selling his farm, his house, stuff like that, and give all that money to her. No, 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 not to her. Sorry, it's too obvious. He write a letter, forging his yeah, forging his um father's. I mean, her, her husband, his husband's writing. Obviously, doesn't look the same, but the money is there. So he give it to the、uh, husband's family, and this husband's parents like the writing doesn't look like my son's. But money cannot be fake. No one giving you money without any reasons. It's common sense, right? Someone just give you one thousand dollar or ten thousand dollar, and says, "Hey, this is your son." Even though the writing is not 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 you know not the same or the style of writing, like no one gives me money without any reason. So it's like, ah,、uh, 书可假，银不可假，银啊，你看，金银财宝。So the wife was, you know, because of that. She was、uh, she was not forced to remarry. She wait for her husband, and her husband came back. So this、uh, f- this、um, husband and wife reunite, and obviously no one knows who did that. So this 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 man he's t- committing the yin de. No one knows he did good deeds, but those ghosts who say that this lady is going to suicide and she's this ghost is going to take over qi shen gui in Chinese. She's she's going to、uh, this woman who suicide is going to take. This ghost place and this spirit thing, this ghost will be reborn in human realm. Something, someone needs to take her, their place. Okay, so basically, same karma in a sense. So this person say this ghost、um, after he did this good deeds, he's like ah. So someone,、uh, this man has uh, broke uh, break out my chance of being reborn in、uh, human realm again. So I need.、Uh, I'm very angry. Another ghost reply, why didn't you,、uh, you know, cause trouble to him? You know why didn't you、uh, teach him a lesson? How can I teach him a lesson? Or the 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 heavenly being say that this person, this man has commit such a good deeds without people knowing, yin de shang shu. So um, no, no one can touch him. He has a he has protection in a sense by his good deeds. And when he heard that, he don't just stop then and 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 you know like like ah、oh, I did a good job you know now now I can enjoy no he's like oh no 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 I need to do more. So that's what I'm trying to say is this man. Obviously, we don't know, right? No, no ghost is telling you, "Hey, Dylan, you do a good job. You should do more." But from this story, <laughs> you, you know that, right? So the back to the story and same same thing for another case. Also, they say that you did a lot of good deeds. He did, he did even more good deeds. His good deeds passed down to his next generation. So just keep doing it.、Um, the story now is there are ten, but he. Categorize them into、uh, eight types of goodness, and he say that、um, there's no、uh, way you can perfect this art of doing good deeds without knowing what you're doing. Basically,、yeah. you need to know what you're doing, or what is actually truly good, or what is apparently good but it is not in in fact. So it, it, it's it's a skill that needs to be mastered in a lifetime. So to do that,、uh, in Buddhism we call it skillfulness. Skillfulness in cultivation. There are eight pairs of、um, there are eight pairs of good deeds、uh, summarized by him. First pair is real and fake, or real and false. Second pair is straight and crook.、Uh, third one is yin and yang, which is hidden. I mean, yin is hidden, yang is obvious. 
Uh, fourth is, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. Number fourth is uh, apparent and uh, actual. So, fei he shi, shi he fei shi is actual, fei is apparent, goodness. Number five is uh, yeah, last week I have trouble trying to translate this Pian Zheng. So I'm just going to use the Green Book's translation. Improper and proper. Goodness. Pian is improper. Zheng is proper. Goodness. And then the six is Ban Man. Half and full. Very good. Straightforward. And then there are Da Xiao. Big and small. Good deeds they can be big deeds and small deeds. Yeah. And then the last one, the eighth, is easy and hard. So yeah. we are not going to go through everything. I don't want to rush this. This is important. This is like our eyes for our path to, that we need to walk. We need to dig deep. Um, so first of all, he said that 为善而不穷理, 则自为行时, He goes straight. 王非苦心无义也. So he don't, he don't cut the corners. If you do good deeds without knowing you know, how to do it, being, being skillful at it, that means you do it um, a bit. Uh, sometimes we might try to do good stuff and then ends up not so good. Uh, undesirable the results. So we might say that I have been cultivating, but in fact, we're actually committing even more negative karmas. So it wasted all our, you know, good hearts, energy. So don't waste your energy. We need to learn how to do it. We need to learn what is good, what is not. So... First of all, he start with Zhen Jia, real and false goodness. All right. So there are a lot of Confucius scholar represents the common people, wheels, common wheels, uh, without the insight of past, present, future. So they just talk about this one life. They only think about this one life. So he talked to Master Zhongfeng. Before I continue, Master Zhongfeng has a very deep connection to us pure land practitioners because Master Zhongfeng is the one who uh, compile the uh, tri yearning ceremony in Chinese and we've been doing that for decades um, so that's very important so Master Zhongfeng so you can see that it is in Yuan Dynasty it's a dynasty before Ming Dynasty which Liao Fan is in so it's just very few hundred years ago so he asked um, Buddha has talked about good and bad deeds will be repaid eventually like a shadow follows your body your body will like a shadow cast from the body it will always follows you as long as your body is here your shadow will follow nowadays people might be kind they might be a kind person but his own children does not appear to be benefited from his kind deeds that means he might not you know get any wealth and position and prestige there are another person there's the another guy who has done quite a bit of bad deeds, was not being good and kind, but his family still enjoys prestige and fame. And we can use that in modern times. Like a lot of people who look rich, but he's not really of a nice person. It's kind of a, you know, unpleasant type. And yet they own mines, they own companies, multinational corporations, stuff like that. Uh, what some people who being kind, they still live in, you know, poverty or some, some even worse, they don't even get promoted or good relationship and stuff. So what they say, what Buddha say, does not make sense. Might be a joke. I mean, he just say doesn't make sense. So Master Zhongfeng goes straight to the point and say, uh, common beings has not washed away their lens uh, of bias, prejudice and ignorance. Their eyes has not been opened their eyes to see the truth has not been opened. Um, the lens has not been cleansed, so they have wear the lens with uh, a lot of uh, dust. Dust represents you know, afflictions such as greed, hatred, ignorance. That means they have a lot of bias, prejudice, and a lot of ignorance. So affliction is fun now. And then they categorize into three big categories. Greed, hatred, or anger. And the third one is ignorant, or yu zhi. Mm. Mm. So, so he didn't say, I just expand on his words. So he, they cannot see things as they are. They see things with a clouded judgment. So he thought they point out the kind deeds as bad deeds. 
they point out something that is obviously bad as kind. So this is something we can also think about in modern times, like fake news and all that. People who you know, might appear morally right at the time, now it becomes something uh, outdated or even you know wrong. Something was obviously not normal was bring out as something you know should be cherished of. So they do not know about their uh, twisting the realities, and they all, on top of that, even worse, they uh, blame the heavens or they blame any beings that if they believe in God, they blame the gods, or they blame other people's family and stuff of you know why this is not happening properly. So a lot of people say, so how can it be twisted, Master Chung Fung? How can it be you know how can good and bad be mess uh, be mixed up? So Master Chong Fong, you know, he do not go straight and say, oh, this is one, two, three, four, five. He follows the method of like what Buddha did, what uh, I think Plato or Socrates did. They ask them back, what do you think uh, this happened? So, so that is more interesting. It, it forces the person who asked the question, think about that question in depth as well. So he say, Craig, please tell me, what consider as good, what consider as bad. So Master Zhong Feng uh, asked that everyone answer mostly. Scolding, beating is bad. Okay. Respectful, uh, bowing people, respectful, to polite is good. Not really, Master Zhong Feng say. Yeah. And then they continue being greedy, being, uh, you know, taking money without permission is bad. Uh, being clean, uncorrupted is good. Not really. Mm. So that is quite hard to understand because we also think about, wow, uncorruptness is good. Why is it bad? So he keeps saying all that common sense thing and then the Master Zhong Feng keeps saying, no, not really. That's so right. he, he ends up with a story where Amy is bringing up. I'll repeat what Amy asked later. He say, so what, what Master Zhong Feng says, like everyone says, since you keep saying not really, what is really good and what is really bad? He gives a principle-based answer. As long as you benefit only yourself, it's bad. You benefit others, it's good. So if you benefit other people, even you beat them, you scold them, it's kind. Okay. If you benefit only yourself, even you being polite, you being respectful, it's bad. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not considered, uh, mm -hmm. we call it unwholesome. Uh, hence, uh, if you want to consider as committing good deeds, uh, you need to start by thinking, what does your good deed benefit? If your good deed benefits everyone, uh, benefits the public, that means your good deed is real. So first of all, if you benefit the public, it's real. If you benefit only yourself, it's um, selfish. If it's selfish, it's fake. So, and then he, he, he helped us to clarify this, what is real and fake goodness. If you follow your heart, truly follow your heart, it's real. If you only f copy, copycatting other people's uh, deeds. Oh, some people do that. They all got praise, recognitions, fame. So I'm going to follow that, you know, appearance of doing good deeds just because other people is doing that. So it's fake. So he goes further and use I Ching's words. Wu wei er wei zhen, you wei er wei zhe jia. So if doing for the sake of uh, doing is fake. If you're doing... Uh, you know, because it's right. You just do, uh, you're doing without trying, without thinking, I want to do good deeds. You do it because it's right. Then it's real. Um, you have to examine it yourself. You, only you can know. So, after here, I'm not going to continue because there is a question about uh, Amy's about, Amy asking, mm -hmm. if I only benefit myself, right? Like, sorry, if I, uh, does good merits or good deeds uh, count it? when you only benefit others. What if you benefit yourself, such as self-love, self-acceptance, or you know, uh, being kind to yourself? Does being kind to yourself consider as good deeds? So what do you guys think? 